I'm sure just like us, you guys have had things that you wanted to do in life, but you just didn't know how to do it. You didn't have enough money, or you didn't have enough time, no one supported you, you had no idea how you were going to quit your job and do something for so long. Well, we've definitely struggled with questions like this, and this is kind of a video explaining like how we overcame these obstacles, and we've pretty much laid out all of these plans for the next year to go on this cycling trip that we've literally been planning for over a year. Mm -hmm. So what are we doing? So basically we're going to be cycling all of the lower 48 states in the U.S. covering 20,000 miles. We're going to be riding, um, we're going to be riding e-bikes. So we're actually setting a Guinness world record for the longest trip that anyone's ever taken on an e-bike which is pretty cool. I never thought I'd be setting a Guinness World Record, but now that I am, it's actually really exciting. Okay, calm down. We haven't set the Guinness World Record <laughs> yet. We're attempting. And we're planning on leaving February 16th. Mm -hmm. uh, from here in Tulsa, this is where we currently live in Tulsa, Oklahoma. So uh, we've estimated that it'll take over a little over a year, like how many weeks? I think it was 53, so right one week over a year. Okay, one week over a year. Cool, so over 365 days, which is pretty crazy because I've never gone on a trip that long. I've walked across country, but that was like nine months, and walking, you know, you're not covering, covering as much mileage, and you're only doing so much because you can only go off the path before it's like, okay, I've literally spent like all day <laughs> just looking at this waterfall. So now we're going to be able to cover more mileage because we're on bikes and also they're electric assist, but don't get carried away because just because it's electric assist doesn't mean we're not going to be pedaling like we're on a normal bike. Mm -hmm. Having all of our gear, because we are going on this trip unsupported, meaning all of our gear is on the bikes. So having all of our gear on the bikes is pretty much like riding a regular bike with no gear. Uh, and you can only ride so long before the battery dies but that's the reason why we we got really high powered bikes with a really big uh, battery capacity so we're going to be able to ride like 150 miles every day well we have enough battery to go that long <laughs> we're not going to be cycling 150 miles i think we're estimating like 70 miles mm -hmm. five days a week and then that's a little over a year because we're going to be covering right around 20,000 miles and that's without you know taking you know, breaks off somewhere else or looking at different things. That's just our our path that we've put out. And we pretty much, as far as the path, we picked like different little um, sightseeing or activities throughout every state. The most interesting things, like in uh, like in California, we're going to look at the redwoods. We're going to go to some mountain ranges, Death Valley, Los Angeles. We're gonna basically stay in L uh, California for like a month, right? Yeah, we're going all the way up the coast, so we're pretty much gonna be in California for the longest out of any state, for sure. And that's what I'm excited about <laughs> because I love California and I can't wait to move back. But anyways, so um, the reason why we're doing this is because it's something that we've wanted to do for a while now. Me and Natalie have been dating almost two years now and we would literally go to the river after work every night and we would go on these long walks and we'd talk about like what we wanted to do but it all came back to like how are we going to fund this. We need so much money to do a trip like this because we're going to be gone for so long and I was just thinking about like my walk and like when I went on my walk across America I it was kind of stressful to me because I had saved all uh, all this money to move to LA and now I'm living in LA but I, I went on this trip and I spent all my money and so when I got back to LA it's kind of like I don't ever want to go on a trip like that again and come back broke mm -hmm. so we wanted to figure out a way to like make money as we're on the road and we hadn't figured this out until probably like eight months ago. Yeah. Eight months ago. We had no idea how we were going to fund the trip other than, okay, we'll, we'll just work a bunch of hours and we'll save up money and we'll basically do it the same way, which I did not want to do. Mm -hmm. So we had been working all these hours and 
we got introduced to this, the New York Stock Exchange and we were trading stocks and we, we did really freaking good, like doubled our accounts in two months. So we had already been saving up money, so we were, we doubled our account, so we thought we were doing really good. We thought we were close to being able to leave for a trip like this, so it was really exciting. We're like, oh, well, trading stocks, this is something we can do from anywhere. It was really an exciting time thinking about it. Yeah, we were thinking like, oh, we're gonna trade stocks on the go, we're gonna make like thousands of dollars, we may, be, we may become millionaires on the road, we, like, yeah. who knows? So we, we just like got super excited and then I got introduced to options trading and options trading, they move so fast that you can blink and you're down 30 grand or you're up 30 grand. Mm -hmm. uh, but in my case, um, it was down, <laughs> down. My entire account got blown in two trades. So the first trade was like, I lost $17,000, which was like, a stab in the chest because like I said I was working this job that I hated for so long and I'd saved up this money and I doubled my account then I lost like literally half of it like just like that and I told myself I'm never do that again two days later what did I do same thing literally, again. <laughs> literally did the same thing again and I lost everything my entire account I lost 30 over thirty thousand dollars in two days so I'm now back in that same position where I was the previous year, like dang, broke, had no idea what I'm gonna do other than work a bunch of hours, save up more money, and hopefully find something to invest in. So we're, you know, I'm just trucking along with life, Christmas passed, that was depressing, dang. Um, and then one late night I was on YouTube looking at some like you know investing videos actually stock related you know daydreaming because I couldn't I couldn't trade stocks anymore because the I had a small uh, trading account and they blocked me from trading for like three months so mm -hmm. I couldn't trade anyway I was just trying to educate myself in any way shape or form to you know become better I know never to trade options ever again, because, but we're at least we're good at trading regular stocks and yeah. ETFs. So we, uh, so I was on YouTube. I found this video and it was saying something about uh, how to flip real estate with no money, and basically you're finding people that need to sell their property really fast, and then finding an investor to go in 50/50 with you to flip the property together. So I was like, this is pretty interesting, but it was also one of those things where we have literally no idea anything about real estate. We don't know how much things cost. We don't know how to renovate anything. We are just two people that hate our jobs and we want to do something in life. And we don't want to take that, you know, normal nine to five, go home and do nothing and do it the next day for the next 30 years. Like we want to have a life now. Okay, so there was one night where we were driving around and I told Natalie, I was like, we just need one lead, just one person to call us and tell us if they want to sell to us and I'll quit my job. And by then I had saved up a little bit of money. Um, it wasn't a whole lot, but it was enough to be able to quit my job and be okay for a couple months before, you know, I figured it out. So like it was so crazy because the next day this lady called me and her property, she was like, I need to sell my property really fast. It was like an extra property that they had and it had just been sitting there for so long and it was getting ready to be auctioned off at this tax sale in like four days. And I'm like, oh man, my first lead, it's like really difficult because here in the state of Oklahoma, it takes like two weeks just to get the abstract to see if it has a clean title. And so like I was thinking and thinking and I was like, well, maybe we can just pay their taxes for a year so we have more time to mm -hmm. figure things out. So that's what we did. So I called the owner up and I was like, hey, don't worry guys, I'm gonna pay your taxes so we can have a little bit more time to figure this out so you guys don't go into this foreclosure estate and we can potentially help get some money into your pockets. And yeah, of course, we could have like let the property go to the tax sale and just try and buy it there for even cheaper, but instead we wanted to try and help them. So we paid their taxes and the property was just so gross. Like the entire thing was, was 
full to the ceiling with trash and so we had to like find someone to help us clean it out and do all this extra stuff and finally we ended up selling the property like eight months later but this is not the average deal like this was one of those houses that were like falling down and we had to give the homeowner so much money because like we just felt like it was a fair trade mm -hmm. and we didn't want to screw anybody and it was our first deal we really didn't have any idea what we were doing um, so a couple months later uh, we've been doing this for about you know that year for about eight months and we had flipped like 14 properties so it's kind of cool to do all of that because you know the, at the beginning we had no idea we we don't know anything and we flipped a house within 30 days of starting and that that feeling was really cool because like i said we we're just random people that hate our jobs and we <laughs> want to do something and we figured it out and we you know flipped a house in 30 days it was really crazy you know we were both working these jobs and there was no way that we could just take a year off and live off of what we had saved up. And so after learning how to flip houses like this, it was really eye-opening because it gave us the opportunity to be able to go on a trip like this, you know, take a year to do something that most people never even dream of getting to do. Right, exactly. And the coolest thing that I find in this new business that we have, flipping properties, is that we can do it on the go. And that sort of brings it back to like how we're gonna make money on this trip. So the idea is we're gonna cycle through all 48 states and we're, we're hoping to find properties on the way to maybe flip or maybe you guys know of properties that need to be flipped. You can send them to us and if we buy them, we'll literally pay you like $1,000 for every property, up to $1,000 for every property. So. We don't want to just flip properties on this trip. You also, it's cool to flip a, a neighborhood, but if you don't flip the people, for example, like if you don't flip their mindset, those properties are just going to be dilapidated and falling down within a few years because they don't care about them. They're just another place to live and who cares? So. Yeah, we're not just trying to flip, you know, the houses in the community, we want to actually better the community by building up everyone in the community's mindset and changing it from kind of a negative, everyone's down, nobody really has any hope, to really give them something to look forward to and help them to achieve their goals. Okay, so achieve goals, how are you going to do that? So we've, you have guys seen my videos where I go out and find people that are, you know, either living on the streets or maybe they're just down on their luck and I figure out what they want to do on their bucket list and we make a video of doing that. So we're finding random people, we're figuring out what they've always wanted to do and we make it happen for them. And the reason why we do this is because when you do something for so long, it becomes your reality. So if your reality is just negative, 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 then there's no positive, then how can you get out of that funk? Well, that's where we come into the picture. So we find those people, we show them how to achieve something epic on their list, on their life list. And then our hopes is that they will continue striving to, toward smaller goals in their life, stuff that they've needed to, be, needed to do years ago, but you know, they're striving for it now. So that's, that's kind of the idea of like flipping the mindset of the people in the community that we're flipping the properties. And it's kind of like, it goes back to when we were working at our job still, you know, we were just working, 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 and not really doing anything satisfying or anything that was fun. But we had this idea that if we could just keep going, we could get to do this trip or a trip like this. And so when somebody is just working, 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 but you give them that little hope of like, wow, I just did something amazing on my bucket list. It makes them want to continue to search for things like that. It makes them want to continue to try to achieve new things that they want to do. Yeah, it definitely sparks like that enthusiasm in their mind and heart to continue like, maybe I can do that. Maybe I should mm -hmm. get up and do something today. So 
we're not just flipping houses, we're flipping people as well. And that's the whole goal here. Yeah, we're cycling uh, 20,000 miles, all 48 states, something we've wanted to do, but we also want to intertwine something cool to help the community and a bunch of people along our way. So if you guys know of any properties that need to be flipped, or maybe you know someone that needs to sell the properties, please don't hesitate to send us the address and the phone number of the person that owns the properties. And you can, um, you can email it to me, Logan, L-O-G-A-N dash Mayberry, M-A-Y-B-E-R-R-Y at hotmail.com. And like I said, if we purchase that properties, we'll pay you up to a thousand dollars and there's no, uh, gimmicks there that's legit like we're trying to help everyone here everybody is going to benefit from this trip and so um, yeah so we're cycling 48 states we're excited uh, to help people and also get, you know give back to the community and set a Guinness World Record and we're gonna be taking off on February the 16th here in Tulsa Oklahoma we're actually gonna be leaving from the gathering place and so if you guys want to come out and show your support, we'd love to have you there. We're going to be meeting at the Williams Lodge building at one o'clock. Mm -hmm. Yeah. One o'clock at the Williams Lodge building on the 16th. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. Uh, my name is Logan. This is Natalie. We hope to inspire you guys throughout the rest of our trip. If you want to come out, please do. Don't hesitate. We'll, we'd love to see and meet a lot of you guys. And if you can't come out, don't worry because since we're cycling all these states, we're not going to be too far from you at some point in our trip. So there you have it. Remember to keep being more and doing more with your time. We're signing out. Peace.